I'm thinking if I want to make a amplifier and then think only about audio quality and not so much about amplifier because in my opinion amplifier should be hidden from you close to speakers and we put all money in speakers and in preamplifier part in modern streamers and and uh, other type of uh, architecture the amplifier it says once it's done why you should put in a, in a treasure why you should make a rolex instead of watch because we need to know time yeah it's not a status status device anymore and uh, what would be optimum optimum design optimum design would be if those output wires will be short input wires would be short we have active or passive cooling and minimum footprint also minimum footprint i like a minimum footprint because uh, this board allows you to integrate in a pretty small footprint huge power in small footprint what else i need probably i need 12 volt trigger it's a popular because it's 12 volt trigger i don't need a switch on and off uh, amplified it will work and according to my experience it was most demanded uh, uh, instead of wake up from signal then 12 volt trigger was uh, more demanded because for example if you put as a part of uh, home cinema for a uh, left and right uh, channels uh, then you want to drive it from home cinema receiver and I was so happy about this board that I built kit what everyone can make once you have a kit you buy a board you put it in and your amplifier is done here is my version of the perfect kit it doesn't fit in my my window no I, I try to put in a part but generally as I told short wires to the output short wire to the input shielded on the back side uh, this board has very good balanced inputs and balanced inputs you can use it in balanced and unbalanced configuration using adapter cable outputs i put uh, speak ons that you can buy uh, wires in professional shop speaker wires and then then it's very easy to interconnect and there's never mistakes and those are very good uh, connectors and 12 volt trigger when you place it on it will not start until you provide 12 volts those are parallel and uh, when you switch it off then it operates off switching on what is the front panel and in the front you have on switch and uh, some indication the power is on and off and with a uh, with a 12 volt trigger also when you switch it off uh, there's some time uh, until those capacitors uh, discharge and uh, and the voltage uh, is gone and uh, anyway it's it's a dark when it's not operating and the last thing after three years of searching i found out the latest generation arctic cool super silent 0 0.03 sonus fan and then you can run at clipping level infinite time and this is not home usage scenario you can use it for pro professional applications and you can cool it when it's put together yeah and the cooling comes that uh, cold air is coming from the sides yeah and then you're blowing blowing it out yeah. Yeah. and then you are blowing it out uh, through that uh, fan and what is good you can put several of them in a rack mount those are uh, to you high and if you if you properly secure them then you can put three in a row and you know for example here you put this high voltage two kilowatts and then 600 plus 600 is making you mids and highs even for professional usage for fan haters could you use it without fan yes you can for home usage you can because uh, typically you are listening only peaks are important you're listening at moderate volume you are not listening all the time at clipping level professionals they never had enough uh, power home users has it typically are working at one quarter of uh, max power some peaks are uh, up and uh, you can use it uh, without uh, without without fan what if you want to use home party at the clipping level yeah you can use it fanless uh, version as well 
um, but uh, then you should put it on the side yeah, you will you will no, somehow a little bit aesthetics will go but uh, here, here will be chimney and uh, cold air will come from the bottom and uh, hot air from the top you should put some sticky feet uh, on uh, opposite side and then then you can operate at maximum power and also for uh, consumer con consumer uh, type of uh, kit uh, we put the consumer connectors but we left those uh, XLR connectors because those connectors are by far better than RCA I know people want RCA but somehow if you make so good amplifier it's better to use a good connectors and uh, you can use this amplifier uh, with uh, adapter cable and there are several ways how can you make adapter cable there are such type of adaptors adapters I would say the pair of them costs around six to ten, ten, ten euros or ten dollars. Or you can use such type of XLR RCA adapters. And those are shortening uh, pin one and pin three, and then you have uh, RCA inputs, and also you can drive this amplifier with such adapter cable. Yeah, those are not reliable connections. No, those operate, yeah, those operate. And sometimes you should buy a golden plated uh, and golden priced cables, uh, uh, interconnection cables for, for, for that. Those are good ones. Those are better, better than RCA. And those who want to have both options, professional and uh, consumer, you can make adapter, yeah. Uh, if you put such type adapter, yeah, this is, and then you put banana seed, you can make it, you can buy it as well. Uh, those are available in some Amazon, in, in eBay, in, Ali, Ali, in AliExpress I haven't found, in Amazon I found. But you can see that uh, interconnection, professional interconnection, first, you never make polarity mistake. Speed of connection, done. Could you? No, you can't put it out. It's by far better. By far better. Could you make such amplifier by yourself if you buy a kit? This is kit made for those who are not electronic engineers, just to split board from the from the kit. How much time does it take? I will not show how to screw all screws. Screws are there and the feet. But generally, all assembling, key assembling is here. So you put a board, you connect an input. Here is a key, you can't make mistake. Key should face, face the board. Yeah, here's also a key. Key should go outside of the board. Here also is a key going outside of the board. Now you locate the board inside, then you screw from the from the bottom all screws I will not show show you and here you also have two wires and they have a key keys should face the board what else power bam yeah and it's done you made the world best amplifier and we do final tests with a with a real board that uh, there's almost impossible to make a mistakes and you can make it operation what I skip is is uh, putting screws on the bottom side but most of you are educated people and know how to screw screw in a hole and screws are provided uh, with a kit this is our donation to DI community who want to build world best amplifier. And there are all components in the market right now and those probably will be for a long time and you can build such amplifier. You can build many such amplifiers for you, for your neighbors and those will sound awesome. Where to buy a kit if you want to buy an amplifier go to tcrasters.com this is my website and uh, here you have all products actually listed 
you can select the products like a pro kit that's the same kit that i shown you and uh, here is the educational video with the details uh, not that uh, what i shown today but there is dedicated uh, video for for that product and also assembling instructions with uh, in in a details not a short version as in this video when you want to purchase here is a shop uh, in a shop i have several products also fully integrated amplifier but uh, i would say that for your convenience it is better to buy a board uh, and a kit separately first uh, in general lower risks uh, just to sending money to some unknown company like like like, like mine and second uh, you have direct contact with the most expensive part of that because if there is a problem then the problems are mostly uh, with the amplifier board but when we're talking about uh, the size power uh, 1200 uh, board uh, sold uh, more than 100 kits already and no one none in america and none in uh, eu has uh, problems in in a past year at least i know that in at the beginning there was some kind of little noise from the pfc filter but it's fixed now i think and uh, those boards are very well uh, elaborated and produced in large quantities and is a is a really top selling product for uh, ice power and of course you will have all warranties the sound important and parts Ex express those are proven reliable good retailers um, and i had a negotiation about some other stuff this no discussion customer is right i immediately get back uh, uh, back money on uh, in other case i got a replacement device so those are good guys and uh, mostly in uh, in uh, almost 90 percent of all sales are done with the kits at least from my side but it's okay uh, also you can buy a full uh, full amplifier and uh, sometimes we have have a boards on 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 stock then i can uh, ship it immediately if i don't have then it's uh, one week delay uh, it's typically three to five days uh, to get boards from sound import and put them in an uh, in amplifier and ship it uh, shipping by fedex worldwide uh, i have established uh, best practices that uh, i'm naming it uh, as aluminium enclosure and then it passes uh, all customs and this is really a uh, non-limits product for for any country and also putting some moderate amount uh, as a, as a uh, fedex value and then in most countries uh, in america in in canada it's tax-free i'm located in the european union so of course for Euro european union this is very easy to send it but for america for for uh, canada for south korea have, have uh, customers from 40 countries and those are typically passing through to end user without uh, special taxes and i also want to give some credit to fedex fedex didn't lost any package so far so pretty reliable shipping company a well-known brand name i have a contract with them and sometimes if you want to have more details or some special requests or you, you want some modifications there is a contact uh, us and there is a web form also i'm showing my my company email that you can write me an email either directly or using form and for payments uh, we are using paypal and paypal gives uh, extra security level the whole website is built on a on a wix platform and also it's secured by microsoft technology and wix and we are using wix shop so this is top level uh, secure shop uh, you have double security one layer is, is a paypal and second layer is a is a proven shop why not adding credit cards in case of having uh, requests i will add it but don't see too much uh, value because this uh, extra layer of paypal i like it and then i'm not responsible at any way of uh, leaked uh, credit cards or even theoretically someone can think that those are leaked so i don't want to take extra responsibility to use a uh, credit credit card service of course i can i can add some stripe uh, services but currently we stick with the paypal 
mostly due to extra responsibility, not the technological problems. Just keeping our clients secure. So, everyone is welcome to build the best amplifier in the world. We can do that.